I'm sorry, car. Jesus Christ. Shit, I still can't make one? Oh, yeah, right there. There we go. <laughs> that was great. Our inside a storm. That'll go away, right? I'm pretty sure that's just passes by. How fucking stupid is that? Wings sound good, man. So damn good. All right, so I should just start one of these ones up then, right? All right. Sights. There's a way to fall all the way back down. We're fucking done. We made it to the checkpoint. We're fucking done. We are fucking done. We're fucking done. Nope. We're fucking done. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Hit the rage quit button. <laughs> we made it to the checkpoint. That was our goal. All right. That was our goal. We're fucking done. Fucking done. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. <laughs> I didn't know you could fall back down. I thought you made it up there. You were good to go. Is there places to fall back all the way to the bottom everywhere? Oh, my God, dude. I thought when you made it to that fucking water, you were good to go. Like, if you fell down, you just fall to there. There's not some special fucking chute that's going to throw you all the way back down here. What the fuck, dude? What the actual fuck? One wrong. Up we go. Down the rock. that one spot right there, right? How the fuck did that happen?
weird anomaly they, they told me about. You know, I can't oh tell God, what's dude, worse. Shit. You or your shooting. I'm stuck your here. guess is as good as mine. Seems we were having technical difficulties. Please stay tuned for the show to start. Am I doing any damage to this fucking thing? Fuck me, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck me, dude! What the fuck? I know I'm fucking stuck! Oh god, there's fucking feet! You guys see the feet? I'm freaked out already! I'll look out, I'm freaked out already! No way, can we fucking do it? Bring the shit out of there! Uh, hello! Ah! Fuck! God damn it! Fuck! God damn it, dude! Don't tell me that's the whole fucking thing over here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What is happening, everybody? Thanks for jumping on. It is hump day. Hump day is the day it is. It is Wednesday. Uh, we're back for another stream. Like I said, I can be streaming all the fucking time now. Got some really cool news today. Some other cool stuff as well. Um, Dakota's fucking excited. Are you excited? You want a bone? You want a treat? Are you excited? Are you excited? There you go. We need to buy some more. Menace, thanks for jumping on, man. Trace is here as well. Susie Sue, how's it going? Hope you're having a great evening. You're killing me. You're killing me. Job, what's going on, man? That we're jumping in. I did some pretty cool stuff last night. You guys might have saw on Twitter. Make sure if you're not following us, you're following over on Twitter. Well, we usually drop all kinds of dev stuff over there if you're uh, interested in the game. Cross your line. 
Gary working on a few things today. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure what we're working on. We'll figure it out, okay? We'll figure it out. Live or you die. So, uh, as you can see, we did post on, we, I, I, so here's the weird thing. I have access to my YouTube dashboard all of a sudden, randomly today. I don't get any emails from YouTube yet, but if I go to YouTube and I click on change account and I change it to my main account, cause I have, you know, the DRB studios account, then I got the Austin BMX account. If I switch accounts to that, I can actually get into it and view all my stuff. I haven't been able to do that the last couple days. So maybe they're working on something. I don't know though, it's kind of weird. I still can't log into that Gmail account though. Um, so I can't stream to it because my stream software needs to log in and I'll authenticate. So I can't stream to it yet, um, but I'm able to like go into it. So I was able to post today and actually run through a few things and make sure nothing's been posted, not me, which it hasn't. So that's good. So we're excited about that. Um, so maybe they're working on it. I hope so. I hope so. You know, it would be nice if they were working on it. It's been almost a week now. So hopefully they're working on it. Make sure you guys are checking out the merch shop. DRBoutfitters.com. Help support the channel and the game development and DRB as well. This is an awesome sweatshirt right here. I love this fucking sweatshirt. I love it. I love the design. It's so nice and clean. You can get this in you can get this in t-shirt form and everything too. This design. It's always great. Um great news though. This is actually fantastic news. Um I did get my approval letter for some state funding for training today. So that means that I have uh about you know that means that I I can continue doing what I'm doing right now um, for at least the rest of this year. I can continue to be doing what I'm doing right now, giving this indie dev thing a shot and full-time content creation. Um, I really need to buckle down, though, and uh, try to actually make some money with this stuff um, because that's just that's gonna what's going to allow me to sustain it, right, and continue to do this. Um, so... Uh, we definitely got, uh, we got, um, enough stuff to, uh, allow us to do a few different things. Uh, Verek, thanks for that follow, man. Much appreciated. So, um, of course we have to stay in school. It's like, a, it's like a school training program, right? So I get funding because I'm in school. So I've got to do a lot of school still, um, as well as it allowed me to do full-time streaming. We'll be streaming like every fucking day um, as well as working on our game. Hopefully our goal is to get Temple of Shadows out mid-June. My goal, here's my, here's our, here's our, here's our roadmap, okay? My roadmap is to get uh, a lot of the, a lot of the levels we're working on kind of environmentally roughed in, kind of like what we did yesterday. Um, by the end of this month in a couple areas really fine-tuned that way I can make like a 30 second like kind of trailer for the game and then I can start building the steam page at the end of this month because so I want to get the steam page up at the end of this month with some screenshots and a little bit of stuff just to hype the game up a little bit right um, for for a couple months before launch uh, so that's our goal that's our goal this month to do so we'll be working pretty hard the rest of this month to, to get to that point. And then we can get wish lists going and stuff, right? And even if you're not going to buy it, give it a wish list, right? Because that'll help it. And then my goal is to use this game as like chapter one and use it as a demo to promote to publishers and see if we can get a publisher to hop on to maybe make a part two 
right? And then get funding for that. So that's our that's our that's our six month outlook, right? And we'll see how it goes. So I really want to put some good effort into this game. I started to make it and kind of like just want to throw something together. Um, but now we're kind of getting to a point now where I'm like, hey, if I put full time effort into this every day, I'm putting five, six, eight hours of work into the game. We actually could probably in the next three months put out. It's not going to be a revolutionary game, but a really polished game that's aesthetically pleasing, looks good, and it's kind of fun to play, right? That's what we're going for. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited to, to come along this journey with us. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross. Not really. Uh, my, my TV, my TV over here, you know, it's got Samsung TV, which always comes on when the when I turn the TV on before I go to like Twitch app or Hulu app. Um, and it, right now it's default on Bob Ross channel. So every time I turn the TV on, I watch Bob Ross for a minute or two, right? I hope you guys enjoy and come along with this journey with me. <laughs> that was great. So we're here. It's Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a great week. I've been having a good week. Uh, I'm excited. It's actually really nice outside, as you can see. It's actually supposed to be kind of cloudy and rainy tomorrow, but that'd be nice Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So um, I definitely need Saturday. I definitely need to get outside, do some yard work, maybe go for a walk with the dog. I need to start doing that as well too. I need to I need to start doing more for my care as well. I really need to get a schedule. If I do full time like this, you know, don't worry about the stream schedule. Don't worry about making content. Just do what we enjoy, making this game, and turn the camera on. Right? At two, we can knock out two things at once. You know, um, Friday night. Uh, Friday is going to be like our DRB day. We do some DRB dev work and stuff. And then Friday we'll jump in and play DRB. So make sure you come back on Friday. We'll actually be streaming DRB. Um, if, if, if I don't have the YouTube channel up since it's DRB, I'll definitely stream on the DRB studios channel as well. Uh, on YouTube is that so it'll be good. There's a Bob Ross channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, look, we'll fucking turn it on right now. All right. Let's see. Actually, it's it's uh it is on the TV upstairs default. So I don't know if I don't know if it'll show up here. I might have to find it. I don't know how to go find channels. It's just default on it. There's like a whole bunch of channels. We should just put it on Bob Ross, right? Maybe go here. Can I go? Here we go. Let me see if I can find it. entertainment I need to go to like I don't know is there like an every channel crime comedy adventure outdoor sports reality game show kids can I just look at every channel shit adventure and outdoor We're gonna find this, don't worry, okay? That's all sports. Oh, can I just keep scrolling down? Oh, I can, okay. Um, it's definitely not sports. Food, home, and travel. I don't even know what it looks like on this fucking list. Reality TV? I don't think it's reality TV, right? Dance Moms to the channel? There's literally a Dance Moms channel. Hoarders. Game shows? Definitely not Latino. And it ain't gonna be kids as well. Shit. I don't think there's... Is there a search? 
there is a search, but I don't know what it's called. What's Bob Ross's thing channel like show called? Science and Nature. We might be we might be fucked, guys. I'll have to go. I'll have to watch upstairs and see what actual channel it is. Fuck. It's there some. It's there somewhere. Whatever. I'll figure it out. We should put Bob Ross on the TV behind us. That'd be great. Must have watched every episode of Bob Ross back in the day. Nice. Love it. Uh, but never tried to paint. Yeah, he makes it look super easy, right? Let's throw it back on Glob. He makes it look super easy, that's for sure. He definitely makes it look super easy. And it technically has been helping me with my level design as well, right? I mean, he makes scenes and doing the level design really helps capture the thing. So let's jump over to the real quick. Post music. That's probably loud enough. All right. Um. Sorry, my camera's really slow. I wish there was a, or I knew a way to speed up the camera. What is, why is everything so messed up right now? All right, so here's what we were working yesterday, right? We got a little, so I did some stuff last night. So I'll show you guys, let me slow the camera down again. Why is my, computer just running like shit dude is there do i still have i still have fucking red dead open i was helping shaner shit that's why hang on let me close fucking drb there we go Woo! there we go <laughs> i forgot that i was helping shaner with some dev stuff earlier today so i was in drb i was in the test server i was like why is my computer running like shit Oh, yeah, much better, much better. I like it. Okay, so we were talking about turning uh, this gargoyle into the laser creator, right? Right? So we, we're, we're testing that out. Watch, if we hit play. Right? That's great, right? What do you guys think? No, you don't need to go outside right now. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. We're able to adjust. Uh, we're able to adjust. Shit, the edge of the fucking instance is right there. Yeah, I need to, I need to fix that too. We got some issues with some stuff right now. Um, yep, that's it right there. Oh, that's because I made the... So I did add... I added a level as well. This level right here. Let me, I'm too slow now. We're really fucking slow. No, speed up. Right there. This is where I usually like to be. Here we go. So I, I added this little level um, because it, this little level will actually, it's a super easy level that just teaches you that lasers can bounce off these things because you don't really know that until you get to the final level. Now I'm gonna show you guys that one in a second. Uh, but you guys like my gate? You guys like the gate that I made last night? Check it out. Here we go. All right. Let's watch the gate. So now when you move that, right, the gate opens. See that gate open? And then we can close it. Open it. Close it. Open it. You guys like that? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's fucking dope as shit. It really fits, right? I think it really fits, right? We got to put some sound to it. Right? So that's our uh, our gate we made last night. 
Saw it last night, better than the stone. Oh yeah, much better than the stone wall yet. So good, especially for this area. I don't know what I want to do yet in the caves. Um, so we'll have to see what we want to do in the caves. Uh, but I think for, I think I'm going to build another door. Um, that's going to be like a drawbridge that we can use here. There's going to be like, this is going to be like a drawbridge that opens and like, you can walk up into this, right? That'd be kind of cool, right? Like a drawbridge. I think that would be kind of cool. You know, like a, like a wood door that opens like a drawbridge, right? There's not going to be a moat. Although, putting a moat through here would be pretty cool. Uh, That's a lot of work. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, uh, I may work on maybe figuring out what we want to do with our button. See if we have any assets we can use to make our button. Uh, we may do that today as well. So I kind of want to get some of this stuff flushed out on how we kind of, maybe not, maybe not exact in-game design, um, but uh, definitely kind of the vibe, right? Tomorrow, I think we're going to start working on figuring out um, the the actual temple face because I did load in so that uh, that kit that I showed you guys yesterday I did load that in um, the cathedral so that's how we have access to these statues here um, uh, I like this one too let's see what this one looks like real quick oh it's like a like a dragon That's pretty sweet. It's fucking huge, dude, right? That's got to that's got to this has to be this has to be like on the on the top of the temple, right? Like looking down. Right? That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Um other than that, I haven't really looked. We have this statue base as well. Uh, which I may... I don't know if we should use... This is huge, right? We can make it smaller, though. It's fucking massive. Should we have... Should we have this thing on a base? The problem is... All of my puzzles kind of like the laser shoots across. Um, hey, Pony Macaroni, thanks for jumping in. That is sick. That dragon one, that's pretty sweet, yeah. Um, my lasers, all the all the puzzles, they, they really work on the laser shooting straight across the ground, right? Because the laser has to be low enough to hit the block, right? So if I put this up on that, it's going to be too high off that, like, arc the laser down but then you only have a certain point that it's close enough to the ground to bounce off of which may make the puzzles a little bit harder and I had to like go through them all maybe like adjust them a little bit um, so I think just the gargle on the ground like that is probably okay um, other than that uh, we have all kinds of different um, things that we can use uh they even have forest ground foliage. Oh my god, this might actually be. Uh, uh, I can't get out of here. I'm gonna. We're gonna jump over here real quick. I just want to look at a few things. Can I put that on the ground? It's it's foliage. Can I drop this on the ground? Or is this a a paint? Um. It's our first time pulling some stuff out, so they have to, like, download some, some, uh, is it just too sunny? Why does that look, it's got to be better than that, right? There's, 
it's that looks like crap. Still waiting for the texture to load or something. Because it should be way looking way better than that. I could that's definitely not how it looks for sure. That's that's a shitty ass texture. Um I fucking hate my fucking computer sometimes, man. I like to hide my taskbar because it just gives me a little bit more real estate, right? But every once in a while, it shows up and then it won't go away. And there's stuff at the bottom of my screen I have to click on. Like, like you guys can see, I, I go down here and I click on content drawer. And that pulls up kind of like your folder tree. But my fucking taskbar covers it all the fucking time and won't fucking go away. Yeah, I don't know if that's just how that looks or if there's just, I think it's just because it has to wait for all these meshes to be ready and shit. It's going to stream today, but I decided against it. Oh, man. Yeah, this has got to be good. Well, you got you to gotta pick a day and just do it. Especially, I want to, you know. Should at least try maybe once a week or something, right? You could you could do that, and just flip that fucking camera on. And like you like you said last time, just keep it simple, right? You we we both know how much shit you can add into a stream, and it gets really just keep it simple. Gameplay, camera, right? Couple scenes. We just want to see you stream. You know, that's the goal. Friday is my next goal this week. Okay, nice. Let, let me know what time. I mean, we might be streaming at the same time too, so I might miss a little bit. I'll be streaming late Friday after after dinner, like Friday evening. It's always fun for sure. I'm not sure why those aren't coming in. Let's let's grab something else real quick and just see if maybe these this stuff needs to load in or something, right? Early. Okay, cool. That'd work out good then. Look out good. Um, let's see. Like we have this. What does this look like? Okay. So that looks pretty well, right? That looks pretty well. So those those full those full is like I said, this was a free pack, right? So it's not like I, I saw in the gargoyle, it's not this is a this this texture is way better than uh this texture. And I might try to work on the texture a little bit. Um and that's kind of what this is, but I kinda like that ran down look of the because the the temple face is going to be kind of like in the rock mountain kind of you know in the rock uh and it's going to be there for a long time we're going to put like vines and i mean it's going to be like really you know kind of hidden so i think that those will those will work pretty good i don't really want to mess with those too much right now because i don't really didn't really plan on that um i kind of want to do our button um, so I'm going to kind of see what we can do with it. We might even go look for some stuff for the button as well. Um, let's look again in here and see if we have anything that's like a button. We got some nice stairs, which is good. Um, and of course, we're not going to find a button in here, but uh, we might find some other shit, you know, that we could use. We got window glass lighting options um let's see they have bridges oh my god like a, a whole um, that'd be cool if we put that bridge like out in the distance right like across the river just for shit what do we have for cemetery okay in the arvo yeah in the arvo an Arvo stream. <laughs> distant meshes. Distant mountains, distant hills. We'll probably start loading that stuff up at some point as well. They have clutter. 
a barrel and stuff. Um, fence gates and walls, some different pillars. We'll probably use this stuff for the actual. Now we can't just we can't just build our own fucking brick uh, button, right? We can't just build our own brick button. Just have to do it in the the viewfinder form. We might do that if we can't find anything that'll work good. Statues. You know, I was thinking about using this as like the the base, right? Like if we have this like that, right? Like something like that, and then like a rock thing on top of it that you step on and it goes down. I mean, even that would do pretty good, right? Something like that as a as the button. Like that's uh Oops, shit, I just lost that fucking button. You know, like something like that, right? But that that, that but that that middle part would be the middle part would be uh, a, a a a rock or something, right? And you go up here and you step on the button and it the button goes down. We'll make it so that you could actually have height, right? So you can see it go down. Um, and then it activates whatever it activates, right? So that that might be a little good, right? That might be a little good. I mean, this this piece. We could even just do two of these, to be honest with you. Scratchy Pillow, what's going on, man? For shizzle, my nizzle. Let's move that out of the way. Because we could uh, duplicate this. Um, and we will uh, shrink this down. And then we'll raise it back up, right? Like that. And then maybe we can even like rotate it so it's like that. Something like, something like that. I don't like that they have two crunches like that, but something like that that you s step up on and it goes down. That's kind of a cool button, right? With assets that we have that we can work on. Um, yeah. OG oh, Weehive, what's going on, man? Magnar here as well. Thanks for jumping in, guys. Glad you're uh, hanging out, checking out today's uh, dev vlog. Uh, we're working on our game Temple of Shadows, uh, set to hopefully release in June. Um, yesterday we did quite a lot of work, uh, kind of roughing in our tutorial area as far as its its vibe. Um, we're kind of working on right now, uh, working to see what we want to do for our button here. This button is used to activate different things in the game, and we're kind of, kind of roughing out what how what other assets we want to use to replace the the mock-up over there right that's that that, that button's the mock-up button i kind of like this but i don't like that there's those are both the exact same now we could we could completely rotate that one you know so it's like the other side um, but you would probably, you know, still kind of see that it's the same thing, right? So maybe we'll look for something else in the middle, like a different shape or something like that, right? Possibly. So let's get rid of that one. Let's, I think we'll, we'll keep that as the... It looks a little big, though. Because how big is... How big is this? See, it's... Yeah, we only want it to be about that big. 
Can I demo this yet? Nah, I don't got a demo going yet. I don't got a demo. I don't even know how to make it a game yet. Hopefully by the end of this month. Pony, hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have at least enough for the game maybe that I could release the release the the tutorial part right here as like a little demo. But the game's really not that long, so it's you know, once once you get to the tutorial, you really start you really start figuring out the the main pieces of the game, right? Um, but it probably would be good to at least make the tutorial a demo and at least let all of our friends play it and stuff so we can kind of get some feedback on a few different things and movements and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I need you to demo it and harshly criticize me on stream. Yep. That's exactly what we need. Um... It's about the right same size, right? Whoops. All right, so we'll have that as our base button. We just need to see if we have if we have anything we can use. Um. Besides that, that or like for the middle, right? I mean, maybe we will just use another one. I think I actually, I probably could do something like this. Like we can duplicate this. We can then shrink this down like that. Um, and then, uh, can I duplicate like this? I've never tried this. Oh yeah, I can. Then we can... Kind of do something like that so it, and then also rotate this one just so it's not quite the same. So I, I have that, that break. Actually, that, that might even actually, oh yes, yeah, that took it all away. We doubled it. That looks good. So we have it up like that. We actually could even maybe raise it up higher. I got to make sure I can walk up onto it. So um, let's see if we can walk up on this. Oh, yeah, we can. And it'll go down. So maybe we should start mod modifying this then in the actual viewfinder so we can get it figured out what we want to do. Yeah, I definitely want to get something out. Well, I'll probably get the demo, the demo out um, as a downloadable so I can send it to all you guys and you can run through the demo part right here, at least to make sure that the game mode functions are basically working. Probably a really good idea. We'll shoot for the end of this month. I do want to get, I do want to get the Steam page up at the end of this month as well. That's a golden. I'm gonna let the dog out. <clears throat> All right, I think we will do that. Um, let's go to details. This is statue base four, probably, and statue base three. Um, let's raise this up a little bit, like, like that high. Let's see if we can walk up on that. Yep, we can. And that's a good height, because then you'll see, then you actually see yourself go down, right? You step on it and it goes down. Yep. All right. So let's 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 do it. Let's open this fucking 
Let's open this bad boy up and... Alright, so here's our button. This is the code for the button right here. Visual scripting. Um, we have all the code for the button to make it do what it's supposed to do. Uh, then we have our viewport, which is the button design. Um, so we can pretty much make what we just had, right? With these other things. So we're going to go grab this. We're going to pull it in here. Um, it's absolutely massive. Uh, do we remember what size it was? I think it was 0.7. Yep, right there. Okay. So there we go. So now we need to duplicate this going up like that. Oh, that's right. I can't, I can't duplicate the same way. I need to go that. There we go. Okay. So this one, let's try 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That's pretty good size, right? That's pretty good size. I think so. Um, we're going to rotate that around like that. And then we're going to also duplicate this again. And then rotate that one. Another 90. like that okay so now I kind of want to I'm just gonna try to put this inside the cylinder like that and then put this inside that cylinder like that and then I'm gonna go to this cylinder um, and we're going to make it invisible uh, as well as this cylinder there we go we're going to compile that we'll go back to our game map and bam there's our fucking button right fucking there right fucking there and watch this it's probably going to work so if we walk up on it it doesn't work. Damn. Oh, our shit. Our our uh, our collision box, which is this, a little bit too small now. Now it doesn't actually. We don't collide with this box right here. This box right here is what what we collide with that causes the whole thing to fucking happen. And now it's too small. So we just need to increase that a little bit. Um, I actually kind of want to bring these up a little bit as well, right? Yo, what's going on, man? Um... Why can't I fucking get size? I want size. Can I not do s move both of these at the same time? There we go. I'm going to move these both up a little bit. We can't go too high now, but I want to go high. I mean, I we can always try to adjust it. I want a pretty large button, right? Okay, so now we got to... Let's go. I love pie. How's it going, man? All right, so let's move our box up. So now we want to, you know, collide with this button right here. We're going to make this a little bit smaller now. Kind of 
kind of center this a little more on that. Maybe we should make a sphere now. Nah, I should probably be all right. Should be okay. All right, let's save that and let's see if this works. Noise. There's our new fucking button. I love it. That's fucking great, dude. I love it. Noise. Oh, yeah. Of course it's going to work. Heels, yeah. Heels, yeah. Get rid of this. This was just a mock-up. Um, so, of course, it's a little high. So, we'll make sure it's like lowered like that, right? There we go. Look at that some bitch. It's fucking nice as shit. Do do. So now to actually, I mean, it should work now if we grab this block. I want to work on this block too and make it a little more shit. Can I get this up on there? Yeah. Okay. You can like that. Put that on there. Actually, I want to make that button go down farther. Actually, I want that button to go down farther. Okay. Let's work on that. Let's see. That's going to be in the code. Um, let's see. On component begin overlap. Blah, 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 blah. Grab our first person. Down button. Um, activate. All right. Let's see what this function does. Down button. It does a uh, timeline and set relative location based on the timeline. So it's probably going to be in our timeline. Yeah, so here's our timeline. Timeline is pretty much a function we can use to do do something over time, right? So over half a second, we go down four. Um, so I'm going to make that double that. We're going to change this float value to be, oh, it's five. Let's make it, let's make it negative 10. Um, and then, uh, where's my button to, um, see all this shit. I already forgot how to fucking do some of, oh, it's right here. Um, did that not save? Negative 10. There we go. Okay. Compile. Save. So I'm pretty sure now that will go down twice as far. I can't really tell when I'm on it. So we're going to have to grab this. Yeah, I think it did, right? I We still wanted to go down a little farther, I think, right? I'm pretty sure it went down farther. But we wanted to go down even farther than that, I think. Let's make something drastic. Not majorly drastic, but definitely something that we will definitely know is uh, changed, right? All right, let's try that. We'll grab this block real quick. Oh yeah, that definitely is going down, right? I like that, I like that height though, that's good. Let's take it off of there, because if we go on there now, we actually should see ourselves like kind of go down a little bit, right? Look at that. Look at that fucking button, dude. I love it. That's great, right? It's fantastic. It's fucking dope. Uh, yeah, I thought I hit enter the first time. Yeah. I was using the numpad. Sometimes numpad in there doesn't work right. Tis a glorious button. Tis a glorious button. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of this.
bad area. I think I messed up on the... I should have... See, we want this to be like... Do we need to put it like over here to get rid of it more? Nope. There, w there was some place. Oh, it's got to be like, there we go. There we go. Actually, I mean, we could do something like that. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. Let's see what that looks like in the real world. Mm, I don't know. It looked kind of cool, but I mean, technically, actually, we can make it a little bigger. One of them, right? Let's see, like if we made this one a little bigger, uh, like it's scales weird as shit right now. Let's go like point four five, point four five. Oh, that's huge. That's not what I want to do. Yeah. Why is the upper part from button duplicated? Uh, it's because because this mesh has like a broken side on it, and I don't want the broken side there, so I have it duplicated so it like will cover itself up, and I don't want to do a bunch of work to fucking fix it. <laughs> it's this, uh, yeah, this broken part, right? You can see it right there in front of us right there, right? That broken part. I don't want to see that, so if I duplicate it, I can use each of them to, to kind of cover it up, you know, because we're technically using the same as the bottom, and the bottom right here, you know, has that broken part, and I didn't want it to be too, and we might change it, you know, we might change this stuff before we actually jump out, but that's kind of why... I didn't, so I, did, I didn't want it to look like it was the same as the bottom, right? So we kind of like use the duplication to cover up that anomaly right there. I think for our time for today, this is looking good. It's looking good. I'm glad we fucking got the button going. Um, it's good size and whatnot. Good size. It's great. Perfect. Noise, noise, noise. So, I think I want to do some full foliage in this area as well. I really want to work on the tutorial area. Whoops, definitely didn't want to do that. Um, definitely want to work in the tutorial area here and get it kind of flushed out a little bit. I don't want to go too close to that. Maybe like right there um because we i do want to i do want to figure out what i want to do with the the cable system as well let's go ahead and throw a i actually need to do whatever i'm going to do with this as well i actually was going to look and see what we got i may i really like the see-through this is just a texture thrown on a rectangle so it's kind of weird right because the texture is used for a lot of different windows i love the texture on the sphere um, but on this flat thing, you know, you can see there's the round window, there's the long, long rectangle window, there's a smaller window, right? If you know how textures work, you can tell that that's used for all of them. So we kind of threw that on there yesterday to see how it looked. But I was thinking possibly to actually use some of the window, uh, meshes for that particular um, item just like we just did with the button so let's go take a look at what we have um, arches and doors so we have this stuff um, now we could you know these have a weird angle at the top but we could it doesn't have to be square right and we, I mean, let's see, let's hang on. 
I don't know why I don't have snapping on. There we go. Um, so we could either do like Like this, you know? Like a like a doorway like that? I mean, that's kind of fucking cool, right? And we can make that a different color as well. Actually, that might just work. I was thinking about making a double. Um, but something like that would be pretty cool, actually, right? To be honest with you. I I kinda like that. That little that look, right? For our uh, our rotational bouncies, um, let's see what it looks like in game. That that texture is getting a little bit uh, that texture is getting a little bit stretched out. Um, so it's, maybe we'll do right like the the metal texture. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, that's kind of cool, actually. We can always maybe do like a double, right? Um, it's, you know, maybe make it not quite as that way and like half of this way and then like double it up. Like... Something like that, you know, as well. Now it's not as stretched. Let me pull these away from this just a little bit so we can kind of see what it looks like. Let's rotate these as well so we can kind of see what they look like together. Okay. Oh, I kind of like it. I kind of kind of like it. We could even like move them so they kind of like near together right here so there's not like a double thing in the middle like that, right? And as long as they're set together, they will probably look like they're like molded together right I mean that too looks pretty sweet right like that that also looks good um, we have just we just have the square but this one's pretty small So I don't know how well it would work to get stretched out like that, right? We can see what it looks like. I mean, can you see that 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 really stretches out the the metal as well, right? Because that's the only problem with stretching stuff um, is you stretch out everything. Now we could do that, and why is this? at a weird angle. You know, something like that. Why is this at a weird angle? Why is that? There we go. Jesus Christ, come back. Slow down. Jesus. You know, something like that, right? I don't like that. That looks dumb. This looks pretty cool, though. I did like the single one as well. Let's go ahead and make that one as well again. Um, let's duplicate this. And we're going to make it tall. Right. So 
there's what we're looking at something like that you know one of those two things possibly I'm not really sure what else we have access to here we got this one is this one tall and big oh shit this one's fucking really tall can we shrink that one down and shrink it pretty good as well right actually that one actually might be kind of good um, we gotta shrink it down even more though maybe like that right actually I think it's gonna be a little taller that one's pretty good. That one's not as pointy, right? That one's not as pointy. Let's let's rotate this one so we can kind of see them together. Yeah, that one's not as pointy. I kind of like that one. It's not as pointy. Not sure why this one's rotation got so weird. Uh, rotation. And I'm pretty sure we can use the other texture. We can put the yellow on there, so it'll be like a yellow and not the red, right? Actually, a really cool idea to try to get these to like light up inside of them when they're activated. We may work on that today as well. But that's, I think that's all the windows we have. Unless we do something crazy. Now that would be really hard. I mean, we could. Yeah, that's that's huge. I think that's for that's like an actual archway. And I'm trying to think of do we want like a. Uh, Like, do we want some kind of frame? Like a, like a, nah, that's probably too much. Like a rock frame around it, right? Like if we stick this like this, we're just doing mock-up real quick, right? Like, you know, that's there and that whole thing spins. I mean, I'd make it way fucking skinnier for sure. Maybe a little smaller that way, a tad bit smaller that way, and way smaller that way, right? Like that, like a rock frame around it. Um, or just now, that's since that I think we're gonna use the windows, and that already has like a frame around it, so I think that's probably good. That's getting a little too much. Which one should we go with here? I kind of like the double one. It's just really wavy, right? This double one right here. Um, Jada, what's going on, man? Orange. Let's see, this is green, green. Now it's got this green tint to it. Damn it. I always miss my control button. See? That's kind of cool. I wonder where the yellow one was at. Could even like do something like make this one longer. 
uh, those things kind of like don't match up then it's, I was kind of you know just for difference or the same because some they're not all gonna be shaped like that some of them are gonna be flat like like right like like this one right here actually I think I'm gonna make another one that's actually like a wood for like so I can use in these kind of instances because I don't want those to bounce off any light so I want them to look different I actually made just make some a whole bunch of other actors as well to use for specific things um, you know Is this the orange one? No, so that's just orange. And then that's the... That one, right? Same one as the ball. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Right? I can't... Drop it on there. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Nikki, what's going on? This will definitely make it so you have to be a little more precise. Because unless... What's the collisions on this stuff? Uh, okay, they're co they're complex collisions, so there's no... I, I was hoping it wasn't like a square, right? They are complex collisions, so... Oops, let's go to, let's go back to lit mode. Actually, let's go into, yeah, we, let's go to stay in lit mode. All right. Um, I think we might go with that. At least for now, you know. Shit might change, right? Like it usually does. Now, I need to figure out what I want to do for this round pillar. Because that whole thing rotates. Um, now we can just use a pillar and put like some rock. Can I drag that on there? I can't drag that on there. Why not? Why won't you let me? Uh, let's just, let's open this bad boy up. We're going to be modified in a little bit anyway. See, just like that, right? Let's see what that looks like real quick, right? And that doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure what kind of round rocks are. I don't, I don't know what else to do for that cylinder. Like, what would look good? And we probably should put some kind of end caps on it, maybe, you know, just so it's not just this perfect cylinder right I mean we could build an entire hinge looking system maybe we should Maybe we should build an entire fucking hinge system. Like it would be, let's just fucking do it real quick. It'd be like, um, let's leave that like that. Let's, uh, let's add a cube. 
why is this cube so weird? This is going to be top. Now we don't want this to rotate. So let me like put this up here to make sure it might not rotate with the cylinder. Um, just a, a rough draft right guys rough draft so that would be like there and then if we duplicate this and bring this one down towards the bottom like that now if we hit compile and we go back to here. You see we have these things here, but now if we grab this whole thing, we can like pull it away from the wall so it's like that, right? That actually would be way better. Like there's an actual hinge and then this part will rotate, right? Like now if we hit play, um, if we step on this, you can see See that whole thing rotates and it's on hinges. Oh fuck, that looks fucking fantastic, right? That's fucking goddamn beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is a rough draft, but like that, right? See how easy it is to fucking make shit in I mean it's not easy, but see how quick we can like throw shit together and be like, look, 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 oh yeah, that's gonna look great. And then and then spend the time to actually work on modifying it right but look at that that's fucking dope that, that that's that's gonna make those fucking doors for sure that's fucking fantastic fucking beautiful i love it i love it um oh shit you guys remember fucking fallout drops today dude you guys excited for fallout i'm not a huge fallout fan but uh, I'm excited for the show. It looks really good. It drops today, I believe, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Right when my class starts. I actually... Uh, you're a huge fellow fan, too? Nice. It looks really good. It looks really good. Let's go to, uh, let's auto save. Let's go to pixel bridge. Jesus. Let's search up hinge. Nothing, nothing that we're actually not the kind of hinges we were looking for. You know, there is a metal hinge, but I mean, we actually have other pulleys and stuff. We might be able to find... Where is this at? This is in industrial hardware. Let's see if we have any free stuff to us that we could use for our, our application here. I mean, this almost would kind of work. That's for s at least for the part that like goes into the wall, right? At least for the part that goes into the wall to that, that attaches to the actual rock. We could actually we could put springs and everything on everything. I guess this whole fucking apparatus. Oh, maybe we should just do a whole fucking gear system. <laughs> right? Like, maybe there should be gears that rotate up there as well. God damn it, dude. <laughs> should we make a whole rack and pinion system? Why did we look here? 
Oh shit, this is a pretty good pipe as well. I mean, it's just a, it's, we don't really need that. It's just a, we don't really need that. I love these chains. Not really seeing much yet. I mean, what we currently have is pretty good as far as roughed in, you know, square. If we go back to it. We have some. Some people say it was the best video gamification, but Last of Us is top tier shit. Yeah, I, oh, I've seen some people say that it's 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 as good of an ad ad adaptation as The Last of Us, which is great. Doesn't mean it's better than The Last of Us because I think I think Last of Us is better than Fallout, right? But they're saying as far as like the level that they put into making the show feel like the game uh, is top notch, which is fantastic. Yeah, because we know there's a few of them that suck. Most usually suck. I'm excited for it. I will probably watch some tonight, maybe. I have class when it drops, and then after class, I was going to play some drivey games, maybe, if I can get my wheel back out. Somebody's got me back into playing driving games. I think Sunday we're actually going to stream uh, um, some driving games. I don't really see anything, but that doesn't mean there's nothing in here that we're just looking in one little section. I mean, we could look at farm. There might be something now. Do we need to put horse manure in our level? Somebody. Yeah. Somebody's been bugging the shit out of me because they got a wheel. And my wheel's sitting underneath a table with dust on it. <laughs> Somebody. Ooh, shit. I never saw this. Yeah, it does... It does look like gravel, but I could probably change the texture of that to like dirt. Fuck, I might have to. I kind of want a dirt pile for a few different things. I actually might come back and get that for some other shit. <laughs> What's this? Just thinking like of an end cap, right? I love these metal, metal. That's a rusty metal shit. That actually, let's download that real quick. See what, how big it is and if we can make it the size we want. We all know who it was. Yeah, we're all playing racing games now. All right, let's add that to the project real quick. Um, a Japanese fire hydrant? <laughs> what is this? Japanese wooden mailbox with rocks on top of it. Who? All right, what did we download? Mm. 
mega scans. It was called. I don't know what the hell that thing was called. There it is. All right, so it's a bit small, but let's see what it looks like if we size it up. Is it weird that I can't stop sniffing the wheel? What? Sniffing the wheel? What's it smell like? Fresh fake rubber? Sniffing the wheel? Like sniffing it where? Like where your hands are at all the time? <laughs> Maybe it's your lotion. Does it smell like raspberries? The snozzberries taste like snozzberries. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh... Smells like new electric. Ah, gotcha. All right, let's uh, work on this a little bit. Why is that? <sighs> Am I going to have to pull out this stuff? I just want to modify this. Right now it's all connected. Can I just modify the cube transformation? they're connected I'd like unconnect them first to get it to the right point or maybe I can lock its scale and then go back to the cylinder and change it nope nope by three the size we want I think so all right I'm not sure why this is fucking 32 hmm because it got locked somehow so it's fucking going crazy and shit I 
want to make I mean, how long is this? That's three? This is three, and this is four. That must not be scale. That's like, you know, based on its original height. All right. Now for these, I didn't figure out what I wanted to do with those yet, as far as you know, officially. Definitely gonna sh rank them like that, though. We didn't grab anything for those yet. We need to go find something for that. It might actually need to be bigger or smaller. It could be. be a full gear system. <laughs> uh, it kind of it smells like new car. I guess, like the leather and plastic. And speed. Something kind of like you know, something kind of like a bracket right there. If I put I don't know now if I want to have a bracket like this with like some gears on it. God damn it, dude. Why do we do this to ourselves? Rusty metal gear, nothing. Oh, take away for that. Ridiculous. Why? Why am I doing this? Because it's going to be dope as shit. So you can kind of see there's a concrete up there. We definitely need to cover that up. What did I get oblong for?
Why is that not fucking scale in this fucking thing is so weird. What the fuck, dude? Scale in this view is really weird. up here. Let's move this out of the way real quick. Oh shit, those are attached. Great. Hang on, let me drop this thing into the main route so we can have it separate for now. Okay, why is this not scaling? It's one one one. Okay, so let's do two and two. There we go. I can't believe we're fucking making a goddamn. It'd be great. Sniffing cars and steering wheels. I think you're going to be sniffing cars and going fast. <laughs> All right, I got to figure out how to make the hinge part now. Shit, I already know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this, but it's going to be fucking fantastic. Um, Sniffing things off cars. Oh shit! It's we're playing fucking Tokyo Midnight Drift now, huh? Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Where was I at before? Props? No, industrial. No. Props. Hardware. Does that have the wheel hub? I want the wheel hub now. Ooh, this one actually, right, we, we want that one right there. That's what we're using right there. I just need something to make the hinge part. I mean, maybe we'll just use a stone fucking bracket. Blacktop rolling. You missed a lot. Missed a lot of what? Daddy, what's going on, man? Hello there, governor. Hello, hello. How much work today? Ah, oh, no worries, man. Glad you able to hop on for a bit. Uh, I do have class tonight, but class isn't until 6. So we'll at least be streaming until probably f at least 5. At least. Which is another 3 hours. I imagine this is rusty something as well. Rusty pipe joint. Good old, the good old rusty pipe joint. Now, of course, we have to do this all at the bottom as well. All right, so let's not. I 
think I want to do that. Wish we had this kind of stuff been enshrouded. I had to make windmill shutters out of door frames. I mean, it's kind of what I'm doing now as well, right? <laughs> um, so I wanted to right put another gear on this thing. So I guess we would do something like that, right? So you don't really see the flange in this one, right? Let me make this smaller again. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with this. Still. That's so intricate. That looks fucking dope as shit. It actually looks like, you know, it freaking. I don't know if I. Maybe at some point. We'll make it so this whole fucking thing animates and moves, right? Right now, just this gear right here and the pillar is going to kind of rotate, but this stuff won't. But I probably could make it so that rotates the opposite way, that whole fucking thing. Pretty fucking easy, actually. Um, so I don't know if we'll do that tonight or today. I kind of want to build this out a little bit, though. I want to do the same thing at the bottom, right? I would think to do the same thing at the bottom. Now, as far as this goes, not that, I wanna go duplicate. Um, Something like this. All right, something like this. And then
right? Something like that. Oh shit, I fucking fucked up. I didn't duplicate that? I swear I did. There we go. Some kind of like that, where that that that's what will be, you know, we'll, we'll attach that to whatever wall we have. I think that's a way too big, though. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like right here, because that's already gonna extend these things out a little bit from the wall. At the beginning, it was just cubes. That's what all games start with, right? All games start with cubes. We've kind of we've kind of blocked in everything, right? We're starting to really get into the fine tuning of making it look like we want it to be, right? It's fucking awesome, right? Yeah, it's great. I need to figure out what I want to do with this part. If I want this to be raw or, you know, like brick or metal. Um, if I want it to be metal, I got to go see if I can find some stuff. Um, so I didn't really see any metal. What the fuck is this? Modular drain pipe. I didn't really see any metal, like flat stuff, right? Like rusted metal slab that we could then use to like kind of make a box. Now there are boxes actually. We probably could use an electrical box for like the top part that is kind of housing the, but again, I don't know if I want to make it that intricate because it is supposed to be like a temple, right? <laughs> but you have to have something that explains why that's turning. So maybe we'll just go with rock. Actually, let's go see if we can find our bricks. Let's see what that looks like. I thought there was like, what was that at? Construction? Wasn't there like a construction area? I want to go cinder blocky, but I definitely don't want to go. Too. Plain either, right? Oh, that's poly. That's not even a block. That's styrofoam. <laughs> definitely want to match kind of what we have. Maybe there's not going to be anything. Let's look around, see if we can find something maybe. No, nothing in there. We already looked in hardware, right? Again, these this type of box. Or that creepy cult lady standing there on the other side watching you when it opens. <laughs> I don't know if there's any you need to jump you know, screams or jump scares in the tutorial area, right? But yeah, we definitely need to work on that stuff as well. I don't really know what I'm looking for, you know, but we're just scrolling through some stuff, see if anything pops out at us that would kind of work. I don't even really know what I'm kind of going for there. Like I said, I don't want it to look too industrial because this is kind of like a uh, a hidden 
hidden cavern or you know like a temple but it does have a it does have a crazy laser thing so something has been there right something has been there damn this almost I wish there was like a flange Let's download this and just see what it looks like. Actually, this this box right here might be kind of good as well. At least I should actually put this box in the bottom, so that's what the cable plugs into. Actually, I already downloaded both of these. This one's already in our project. right there let's get the bigger one as well not jump scare just watching you all eerie like yeah yeah okay maybe maybe we'll put that maybe we'll put like a couple gates away you can see somebody if you watch and then when you get closer it's it's gone right but if you uh if you do look forward if you do look ahead you'll see You'll see something up there watching you. And then once you get up there. Uh, it's not there anymore, right? All right, let's see. Um, that was called something pipe, right? Let's see, what was the pipe called? Painted pipe? Painted pipe base? Painted pipe base. Painted pipe base. Okay. All right. It's hollow, right? Yeah, it's hollow. Let's get this out of the way real quick. I don't know why that's connected to that. Why is this connected to that? It's part of that. I don't want to put this on the... All right, so we're definitely going to rotate it. And I would think like that, right? we could use like two of these what else kind of stuff is there for this whoops i keep clicking on the wrong button there's this oh yeah this just weird cross connectors is this even metal why is this one so industrial looking and all the other ones are like nothing So it stays round. That makes 
fucking huge. that with something. This is turning into a lot. Right? It's turning into a fucking shitload. <laughs> Maybe we're overthinking the fucking thing. I really like it though. Right? I really like it for sure. What's uh, what's this called? Electrical box, something, something. I want that to be right there. I might make it like actually this might just be at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know Mio. I was talk I was saying that earlier. Um I was like, maybe next week or something I'll jump into the actual event graph, you know, and, and do that. Um but for the time being, I'm not really worried about it too much. But yeah, you def it would definitely be inverted for sure. See, we, I was I was thinking about there's got to be a place for the cable to like actually attach to, right? And cover the pipe, maybe. Like this pipe. Yeah, I. Don't know how crazy industrial we want to make it. Because, you know, oh, the whole, on the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, I saw this end cap, possibly. And we could, this right here, right? We could probably use that. Um, and maybe even throw the texture off the that on there, you know. Might work out. 
It's hard to ask because I missed everything so far. What are we doing right now? Uh, right now, we are kind of building out our door, our, our spinny door, right? This right here. And see, we can, act, we can kind of quickly see how it looks in real time, right? So this will be like, like that, right? Actually, we'll probably even make it smaller so it fits these a little better. Um, but yeah, with like fucking gears and shit up here, right? With freaking gears and shit, man. Uh, I just noticed that that's a little off. It definitely looked off. Why is this not fucking centered like it is? It just from that angle, fucking it's all messed up from that angle. Or maybe it is centered. It just now it's a little off. Like right there. See, why is it so fucking... Why is it so off? Why is that so off? Over here. Did I... Did I move? Did I move this thing... Off its center? I must have moved this thing off its center when we were messing with stuff. Well, I didn't want to do that. Let's not do that. Fuck it. Let's just delete it and pull out a new one. Damn, dude, it looks fucking dope as shit. Is that, is that too fucking industrial for our freaking ancient? I mean, it is supposed to be like an ancient uh, temple, but there are lasers and shit in it. So I was thinking like, you know, kind of like crystal skull type stuff, right? Like maybe, maybe eventually like when you get all the way to like chapter four you, there's like a fucking crazy alien beam fucking that's actually been doing everything right size adjust all that shit that's weird oh 
I fucked it all up again. Can you rust up that white pipe? Yeah, I might be able to, actually. It's a good idea. genius John you're a fucking genius right god damn genius I gotta pee Scott Benson says, muted. Son of a bitch! Thanks for using that command, though, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Shaner, no. I don't have anything, man. That looks so good now. Looks so good now. I don't know why this is getting all weird. Like it gets offset like that. It's fine when it's like that, but when I scale it, it doesn't scale right. Which is not good because I don't want them this big. This is fucking huge. too big didn't think so but uh it's been a while since i pushed anything yeah i haven't had anything got a bug squish nice nice jesus christ dude it looks like a goddamn fucking actual fucking thing so then we can put our cable into this fucking connector right here, right? Uh, now, I don't know if... I think we're only going to have this on one side. And the other side is just going to be like a, uh, a spinning... It won't even spin. 
Well, actually, we can make it spin. Um, it's just going to be a bearing, right? Like a spinning hub, right? So we need, I need, I mean, I could just have this, right? We could just go, we could use uh, John's amazing fucking idea. Do that. And then um, use rusty pipe joint. Is that what we want? Yeah, it's gonna work. Duplicate that. Bring it down here. Hopefully that duplicated. I thought I saw something happen. Just so there is some sort of a uh, something, right? It's too big, though. I gotta put the end cap on it as well. Bam, PayPal's the gold, man. Thanks for jumping in. Ba bam I just... Someone gifted me a sub in your channel. I just saw that I had a gifted sub. Don't know when that was, man. I should figure that out and go thank them. That's awesome. Let's get rid of our default stuff up here that we were messing around with. We don't need this inside the viewport anymore. Um, and we need to put that, that cap on this. Right, so let's go. Did I download that cap yet? I don't think I did. No. Let's download that. There's probably wheat. Yeah. Could have been. Probably. I'll have to look at my, uh, actually I should, I should be able to see that stuff in my notifications, right? Usually you get notified. It was right there. Three days ago. Nice. They called Rusty. Old Rusty Cap. Old. Look, it looks like a fucking gun sight now. Old Rusty Cap. That's what we're looking for right now. Old Pickaxe. Old Rusty Cap. No, I, I don't like this I don't like I don't think I like this rusty texture right What is this game about? It is a uh, a puzzle game that it has a horror aspect. Um, its premise is you are investigating the disappearance of your professor who told you he found a hidden temple and never came back. Um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be out. Hopefully it'll be out in June. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month, we'll have a little bit of a demo out and a uh, Steam page on where you can wish list and stuff to help promote, you know, the game, the studio, myself, all that good stuff. It's our first first go at it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it does look like a gun sight, right? It does. Uh, um, we need to increase red and green a lot. Let's try that. That's too much, I think, right? Oh, actually, it might be close I 
Almost got it. Let's go six. That might be too much. Now six will work. But we do want to change this out to the other rusty. Do I want to use that one? Yeah, that's what we were using for the other stuff. There we go. Let's go look and see what it looks like in the actual game. Yeah, there we go. Now it's closed up. Ah, I don't really like that texture on there. Because that texture is made for like a bigger object. So it's really stretching it. Know what I'll give for your birthday? Ooh, nice. Awesome, man. Uh, his name out on DRB as missing. Put his name out on DRB as missing. Like in the server? <laughs> I don't even have a name for him yet, to be honest. I need to think about all that stuff. I got it all kind of jotted down, but... You know me, it's going to be something really weird. Professor Snazzleberry or something, right? Snickerdoodle. The snozzberries taste like snozzberries. I don't know if you guys can see the dog camera with the. There he is. Look, he's he's got his feet sprayed, his back feet sprayed out. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? You want to go outside? I was saying, do you want to go outside? And he was like, are you talking to me? Because <laughs> I was looking up, up here. I was looking at him through the camera. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's see if maybe... Uh, maybe the rust, the rust one for the gear might be a little different. It probably is. See rusty, rusty, rusty hand hoe, rusty old hoe. It's our rusty hand hoe. <laughs> um, rusty pipe joint. Oh yeah, this is definitely different. This actually might look better on this as well. To be honest with you. Ah, it still is fucked up, dude. Because it's. The texture's made to wrap around that freaking thing, right? Shit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I wish I could... There we go. Let's put it on unlit. Um, this little... What else do we have that was rusty? What else do we have that's rusty? Rusty metal bowler, rusty pipe joint, rusty gear. Rusty gear. See, this actually has the gears um, in the texture. So, yeah, that looks like shit, too. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's not going to work either because it's really square box. Textures have like the actual, you know, they, they wrap. They wrap around the object. So um, if the object has, if the object's shaped very weird, the wrap the wrap's going to look like that on our flat object. Uh, I mean, we could, I could probably just go find a rust. Yeah, let's just go do that real quick. How about we go here? We go to surfaces. And we just look for a fucking rust standard old. I think actually it might even ha there might even just be one in the fucking game actually. To be honest with you, 
Um, let's just search all content for rust. Yeah, right there. See this metal rust right here. Let's try that one. See, it's a little on the bright side. But we can probably go into it and adjust it, possibly. Does it have a base color? It does. We can go into here and we can kind of make it a little more orangey. You guys can't see anything I'm doing right now, so give me a second. I have like four windows open. I'm like, is this doing anything at all? Okay, we're getting a little bit. That's just on that though. Where's the other color manipulator in here? My uh, headset died as well, so I lost audio for music. Um, this is a base color, right? So you do natural contrast. Base color. I'm gonna have to mess with this texture a little bit and add some color tinting abilities to it. Which I don't really want to do right now. So I guess we'll leave it like that for right now. Like I said, we're not in final. Final, final. Yeah, it's fucking damn. It's a. Uh, normals. It's normals are really fucking high. Let's get rid of some of the shit we have laying around real quick. Um, we need to do that as well, right? That's what that's what our thing's going to be. Is the dog going to come and play? Hey. Come here, dork. Um, used to make UV mats for simple things. Nice, man. Rusty Shackleford texture? Rusty? Yeah, I'll go look it up. He's like a pair of pliers. What? I don't get it. Oh, his back legs? Yeah. He always lays his back legs out flat. Who runs like that? I, I just, I just lost it. Who runs with their hands back? I, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I just went fucking blank. I'm, 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 I'm using my mind too much. Naruto, yeah, it's Naruto, yeah, <laughs> Naruto run. Area, <laughs> uh, my, my mind was thinking really hard on who actually does it. All I could see in my mind was a whole bunch of memes, right? Of everybody doing it, not the actual person that does it. I was like, fuck, quit, stop, stop the meme mind and actually think. <laughs> All right, the last thing we're gonna do for this is we are going to uh, put, like this, um, as the actual thing right here, right? So it'll kind of look like that. Right? It'll kind of look like that. That's gonna be pretty fucking dope. That is gonna be pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. I think we need to seem to scale the whole fucking system down as well when we get into it. The memes have taken over. Oh, they're playing blackjack. I love the blackjack script we have. I need to maybe get another arm so that that camera over there is on an arm at that height 
so that when my desk raises up, it raises up as well. Because, um, yeah, because when I'm my, because I'm doing a lot of dev streams now, and uh, I can't stand up and play games, right? But sitting here devin and stuff, we can we stand up every once in a while, and. Now we're like out of out of screen, right? Because the camera that camera didn't move. My desk went up. <laughs> the camera's not on this desk. It's on a bookshelf right there. All right. So that's the last thing we're gonna do for these, I think. Um, as far as changes to a go, there's a lot of small little stuff we need to do, right? I wish I could get. An actual piece of metal for that. that doesn't look too bad. I need to actually see if I can add roughness to that. That's the thing. It looks flat. I definitely want to do something different with that as well. Um, but all that is is just a, a solid. I guess I could get. Let's go see if we can find a brick then. Right. Let's go see if we can find a brick. Ooh, I really I love that ground I just saw. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What ground is this? Desert outback ground, rocky. That's a fucking nice looking ground. That's kind of the ground I kind of want for the can't the the caves. That's a really good ground. Fuck, I'm downloading it real quick. I'm not going to do anything with it right now on stream, but I really like that ground. That's kind of the look I was looking for, for the cave ground, like rocks and dirt, right? Let's just add it to the project so I have it. All right, it's in there. All right, let's go in the spin door. Uh, we're going to go back to here, go back to 3D assets. We're going to look up. See, we have these bricks, so let's see if there's a brick that's kind of rusty. They look kind of like what we're hoping for. Like, this is too much, right? That's too much. Uh, Concrete brick right here probably could look like what we want. Let's give it a shot. That may look kind of rusty metal. And maybe even like some of these, right? Where's the one we just had? Up here? It looks a little more like metal. Now, well, I'll give it a shot. That's what we're doing. Just trying things out, right? Just trying them out. See where it goes. British, what's going on, man? Back at it again, Austin? Is it all coming together? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. It's always coming together. Yeah. Check this shit out, man. We got our awesome gates over here for our doors um, this is our our laser creator now uh, we made this button today the actual button at uh, the top part goes down uh, and right now we're kind of working on our hinge doors and we put this whole fucking thing together right here right so we're kind of working on that right now building this whole mesh of gears and shit it looks pretty fucking dope so far. Spoilers, Austin. I'm not showing anything else. Okay. I know. It's a little bit of some environmental stuff. Hopefully, hopefully that's not, that's why there's not, you know, a hundred people in my stream right now because they don't, they don't want to have spoilers, right? I, I get it. I get it. 
That 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 that's why there's not a hundred people in my stream right now, right? Like a thousand people sitting here watching us do this amazing dev work because they don't want spoilers. I understand. Um, is this it right here? Mega scans. Yep, that's it. Yep. Doesn't look. Doesn't quite look. Shit, that's not what I want. Can I just hit Control F? No, that doesn't do focus in here. See, I don't know why. This viewport doesn't do a lot of the same things the other viewport does. Yeah, see, it's definitely not rusty. Definitely not rusty. It definitely looks like a brick, right? Not like metal, which is fine. Right, that's totally fine. When you stretch it out, it definitely looks like it's a brick. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. And if anything, Too bad. There should be, right? Yeah. Jump for a bit. I don't want to see too much. I understand, man. I understand. Uh, Friday. Friday we'll be streaming. Like, uh, we'll be playing in the DRB probably. Running around with Fiddle Pot. And then Sunday. Friday and Sundays are going to be our, like, game streams. Um... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are kind of like more dev blog stuff because we're actually working on stuff. Uh, Sunday will be a long stream where we're going to actually try to play some race car games with a race car wheel. I think. I may just have to go try to make something. We're just going to leave that for now. I don't really, I don't love it. Uh, I want it to look more like I think a piece of metal. And actually, I might even do something, you know, why am I fucking flying around here? You know, something like, actually, let's, god damn it, my finger was, my, sorry guys, my fingers was one finger off on the keyboard. Let's delete that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's put that back there. And then I also want to duplicate this. Rotate it. And shrink it. Like that. Put that kind of like that. Now we're going to have to figure out the... See, it's... Actually, what we'll do is we'll go like this and we'll bring this all the way up. Now, why can I hold shift and go up with that? On the regular world, I can hold shift and follow this up. Oh, fuck. It's like literally fucking spot on, right? It's literally spot on as far as distance goes. Um, fucking great then. Shit, just control Z that back to where it was. Right there. I fucking, I can't believe I fucking got that perfect where it was at. And then we'll go... What racing game? Um, well, we have Gran Turismo 7. And we're also probably going to play some American Truck Simulator. I really wanted to play that for a while. I got some uh, awesome friends that play it. And I bought the game a long time ago. And a fucking wheel. Um, but uh, never have done it. And there... Yeah, and... 
Miss Macaroni has been bugging the shit out of me, telling I'm a I'm a I'm a crazy person for not playing it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Try to play it on stream a little bit. All right, something like that. Mocked in. I need I need to work on fucking size. This is. Everything's too big. Everything is too goddamn big. And for some reason, when I shrink it all, it all moves on us. Everything is too goddamn big. Uh, not play GG7, play GG6. That was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need Pony's help getting my multiplayer set up, but um, down. I've been driving around with keyboard, mouse, and... Oh, on Truck Simulator? There's multiplayer? We can drive around together and make a convoy? Why didn't anybody ever tell me that? We can drive around as a convoy? No way. Are you serious? No one's ever told me that. You could do that? What? What? You gotta be shitting me. Holy shit. You're gonna tell me tonight? Well, you're... Plan has been spoiled. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking doing that. Holy shit, dude. I didn't know you could convoy in that fucking game. God damn it. That's awesome. I'm a fucking excited as shit now. I'm definitely getting that wheel set up tonight later on after class. All right. Woo. I got a little lightheaded. Shit, my goddamn headset died. Did it die or just turn off? Like so long ago, I've been sitting here rocking to myself in silence. Yeah, it just fucking turned off. I was like, why is this so quiet? Oh yeah. Which truck simulator? American Truck Simulator? It's like, supposed to be like the best one. American Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator. <laughs> I want to actually try something real quick. That's fucking dope as shit. Of course, it'll be doubled, right? Because we need to be tall. We could either have it like that or like this, right? Or we could have it like that, right? That's pretty fucking dope. That was fucking perfect idea. I just let you outside, dude. What do you want to do? Go get him. Go get him. Yeah, that look that's good. That's good. We'll have to work on placement right to make it fucking perfect. I don't know if I like it with the bar in the middle like that, or I think I do. When it's not like that, it kinda like comes together, right? It's Did I not keep these selected? Alright, if we go like this. 
I mean, that, that looks pretty good as well, right? We just got to make sure we get it perfect. That looks pretty good as well. And I think if we, f like, flip this one. That's going to get super complicated. Four twenty-two for Mega Truck Sim. Really, four twenty-two right now? Is, is that the actual game, or is that like a? Uh, they have a lot of add-ons. You can add on different state packs. Usually, it's about. Usually, it's at least like nineteen ninety-nine. Maybe it's on Super Sale. I don't know. But they have a lot of extra packs. Got to clip that. <laughs> nice. I didn't even know that. This looks dope as shit. All right, we have we have now we have to do this. Um, in here. So the first thing I need to try to do is. This thing looks so big. Says, damn, dude, nice. That's awesome. I figured I could, like, we might have to, like, shrink all this stuff down and replace it all. Because I kind of need to use this as reference. This still needs to be the, about the same size. Because a lot of my puzzles are based on that size. Of it being that size. So let's go ahead and bring in our uh, window. Do we remember which window it is? It's this window right here, right? Yeah, let's bring that in. There she be. There she be. Good old window. A game with cannibals and cultists? Cannibals and cultists. This is kind of how, kind of what our game is kind of about. We almost could make three uh, eyes, right? go like there I 
because that almost makes him like smaller eyes, right? Or I think we had it like this, right? Like that. That like matches up perfect in the middle. Shit, I moved it just a tad. Like right there. That actually looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that's the fucking key right there. That looks fucking good. That looks fucking dope as shit. That looks dope. Uh, kidnap kid, you have to save, but it turns out in your mind. I don't know if anyone has seen the serpent and the rainbow of or Jacob's Ladder. It's called the Serpent and the Rainbow. The Serpent, the, the, it's called Serpent and the Rainbow, or Jacob's Ladder. I don't think I've seen either of those. Are those movies? I understand the premise, though. A kidnapped kid, you have to say. There's a lot of those out there like that, right? Like, there are whole movies about you're, like, trying to save this kid, and it's all in your fucking mind, right? And it's all about cultists? Let's go ahead and delete that. Um, can we group? I can't even highlight two things at once in here. I have to... Uh... Just do that. Serpent's Ladder has Tim Robbins. I've heard of the movie, I think. Has a scene that inspired Silent Hill franchise. I think I've heard of the movie Jacob's Ladder. Uh, maybe your idea is just a kid kind of ripping off Silent Hill. I mean, they're all... You can't, you can't think like that, though, John. If you think like that, there would be like five movie ideas and that's it, right? You gotta, like, grab a great concept change its location and then change up a bit of the stuff right you you can just like you know seven degrees of kevin bacon like literally you can grab anything and bring it into another uh, can make the connections to anything else right there there is very very minimal uh chance ever in this day and age to have it a completely original idea right because it's just it's all been done but you take something you make your spin on it you know and it could be great very very rare in media anyway that there is an original idea these days right very very rare
getting everything layered right. Oh, fuck. I just moved all this stuff in here. If I move this all now, does it all move? Yeah, okay. So we wanted this to be... Yeah, that's pretty close to the right size. What was that? Uh, I just got a... Shaner's messaging me. What do you want, Shaner? A Guama water change that I don't want to fuck up? I mean... What Guama water changes? I'll, I'll, did I do any of that? Or you made changes to something. Oh, there was the bug fix, right? I don't know, man. I know there was a bug with it, right? Where it wasn't doing something correctly. I, I swear I pushed all of it. In it. I know I know I have. Uh, I think there's a bug right now that I, I was trying to fix, maybe. But the actual Guarma stuff has been pushed. Um, now since this is pretty small right we have to work on that make this whole fucking thing all this this thing way smaller around right it doesn't need to be this massive fucking thing right because I, I want this to stay that size um, we want you know that all to stay that size but everything else to shrink around it and no worries man I'll, uh, after stream, you can take a look. I'll be in class for a little while, and then later on the night, I'll be on, because I want to get that wheel set up and stuff. Get a jump off and play some dog. Went nice, man. Thanks for jumping in. Hanging out for a bit. Appreciate it. All right. Let's, uh... Compile that. Um, so that rotates with that. We also need this gear to be inside of the cube because it's going to rotate with the cube. Um, technically, we probably want this to rotate as well. Probably the bottom one as well. I mean, although no one's ever going to fucking see that. Somebody will figure out a way and be like, oh, fucking immersion broke. Immer Actually, we don't want that one to rotate. That's just a bearing. Yeah, just the top one rotates. Actually, the top one probably shouldn't rotate either. That's a, technically a bearing as well. Technically. No, the bearing's inside. The bearing's inside of this one. Okay. Uh, compile. Game map. Um, let's uh, see if it fucking works. Uh, why does that look like that? Oh, these are something I put there. Oh, that's right. I want to put that. Uh, I want to put that uh, texture on it, right? Dude, you were just outside, man. It's fine. Go outside for the rest of the fucking day. Nice. Go play. Look and make sure that the side gate was closed. It was like an old door uh, that would go in a temple. Exactly. Exactly. 
Um, now we do want to put those other textures on it. So if we can find that. Uh, materials, it was this one here, right? Yeah. This one will look better because you can't really see through it as well, as well. So it'll help with the doubleness of the wrought iron. All right, let's. Why did? Why did that all of a sudden the game freeze? Please don't crash. Shit. Daniel, you made it. I can't do anything right now. We're frozen. Great. Great. I can't even get my mouse out of there. Like, we're fine, though, right? Can I alt tab? Yeah, I can alt tab. I can't move my mouse though. Can I alt tab like over to here and then have my mouse? No. My mouse is completely fucking stuck. Seriously? Come on. Why? I don't want to kill this. When's the last time I saved? I think recently I compiled and saved. Shit. Fuck, dude. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck. I guess. Can I? I can't even right click on this and. Fuck, dude. Oh. <laughs> My fucking mouse died. Let me plug it in. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, dude. Hey, look at that. Mouse. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I'm glad I didn't kill the fucking... Kill the fucking program. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Ridiculous. I forgot. I must have forgot to plug it in last night. Actually, probably two days. It, it lasts like two or three days. I just sometimes forget to plug it in. All right. There we go. It's looking pretty fucking good. Looking pretty good. Let's make sure it works. Let's add that to that. Hit play. All right. Um, and nothing. And nothing. All right. What is going on? Oh, I pulled everything out of the cylinder, didn't I? That's right. The 
cylinder inside of this thing is, is, is spinning, I think. We need to grab this whole cube and put it in cylinder. Compile, save. Hit play. Fuck, dude. Nothing's fucking working. Come on. What is cylinder? Yeah, that should be spinning. And everything's attached to that now. Why is this not working? Lasers, right? They doesn't have anything to do with the lasers. This one. When I step on the button, it should, unless it didn't. Let's double check that we are. Oh, see, it didn't work. Damn it. Pick it. All right, go to details. Now we are. See, it's not working for some reason. Why can't I pick this? Spin door. Why is this not allowing me to pick that? Can I pick that? Yeah. Why can't I pick the spin door? That's weird. Let's delete it and pull a new one out or something. That's strange. Definitely need to work on sizing a little bit for the outside. The the this part we want to keep that size, so I gotta like fuck with it all. But for the time being, we're just gonna do that. Details, no. Details on this. Add activatable objects, and we want to add spin door three. Why the fuck can I click that? What the fuck? Huh. I should be able to like pick anything, to be honest with you. See, I could pick anything, but I can't pick that anymore? Why? Well, that's a fucking weird how do you do. I can't pick that for some reason. Pick BP Spin Door 3. Pick it. And see, it goes to none for some reason. Weird. Well, that's a fucking huge bug I'm going to have to fucking fix now. Why is that fucking broken? No fucking clue why that's broken and what would cause that. Fucking crazy, dude. If I go to the event graph and everything, I mean, we didn't change any of this shit. We're still just making where we have everything, everything we want to, everything we want to turn, we have attached to the standard cylinder. And so it just, everything rotates with that cylinder, right? If I go to the viewport, you can kind of see that if I select cylinder um, and we rotate that cylinder. Everything rotates, including that gear. See the gear moving too? See? So everything should be fine. I don't know why I can't pick it right now. I've never had that problem. I can literally pick everything. I can even pick this wall. It's not going to do anything when I step on the fucking button because that wall doesn't have an activate function in it. Why the fuck can I pick the goddamn spitty door? These ones should be already set up. Let's see if they're still connected. Yep. All right. They're connected. Let's just play right here real quick and see... If it works, 
Yeah, see how the whole thing spins now? Even the gear up there, right? I mean, I don't know why I can't pick that one over there. That looks dope as fucking shit. See the fucking gear? Can you guys see the gear up there moving? It looks fucking dope as shit, dude. That's fucking awesome. I don't know why I can't pick that one. It's very strange. Definitely need to work on sizing. I need to like go into the thing and change all of this so that whole thing we did today is a lot smaller and like barely is larger than the square, right? So that is what I'm going to do now, right? Are we going to do that now? Look at the look at uh, look at it up there, right? That looks fucking dope as shit. I like I I made this one from my level design class because when you're in here and the buttons right there, you actually it. It adds a, a point of emphasis that window does. And when you step on this button, you actually see what you get through the fucking window. Although, why is that stuck on there? That's fucking weird. That's weird. There must be like... I guess I need to maybe raise that a little bit. That's weird. That's weird. Why is it stuck to it? That block has physics. It should just fall. Huh. There's some weird shit I got to figure out now. But we'll get it figured out. That's fucking weird as shit, dude. Huh. Strange, man. Way strange. I don't know why, how the hell that stuck to it. Let's put it like right on the edge. Weird, dude. There must be like a weird collision with that window or something. Yeah, you see how it's like, you see how it's uh, kind of half through one and not the other. There's like a weird collision that's like trapping it right there. Can you guys see that? See how the little thing is dipping through it a little bit, right? there right so the collisions are like kind of like scissoring it it's getting scissored my block is getting scissored right i'll just add like a collision invisible collision mesh around that whole thing so the block kind of sits just on top of that thing right Scissored. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, though. What time is it? Yeah, I probably got like an hour left before I jump off. Um, I really want to. I don't know why I can't pick this right now. It's really fucking weird and kind of scary that I can't because that whole that system should be super easy. I should be able to pick anything. I've never had that happen. I mean, literally, this gate was one of these. 
I like duplicated the thing and then changed its name and then changed all the pieces. So it was that, right? And bam, gate. You could pick it, no problem. I don't know why I can't pick this right now. That's okay though. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna work on adjusting this shit. So first thing I need to do is pull off the cube from everything else so I don't change its size. Um, rusty metal gear is part of the cube. Same thing with this. Kind of want to pull all that off as well. We just want the cube to be by itself. Because we don't want to change that at all. And then everything else is individual. You like Danny said there's some kind of confirm button? Nah, there isn't. Nope. I just it's just an eyedropper picker. You just pick whatever you want. Now I've done it a bazillion times, right? I don't know sure what's wrong. It's weird. I literally just picked something else, right? Right? I picked I picked something else and it worked. I don't know. Very weird and kind of scary that I can't pick it. I'm like, why? And I meant for dead mouse. It was the was the dead mouse. What dead mouse? All right, let's modify this. So we want this to be, no, I want this to be just taller than that. Just taller than that. Just taller than There we go, right? So that looks good. And that looks good. There we go, all right. So that's the height of that. As far as its roundness, right now it's a three. Let's go ahead and try a two. And let's pull that in. Two's probably good. I don't think I want to go smaller than that. Two's probably good, right? Now that's a good size. Yeah. It needs to be strong. Yeah, so we'll go with that. That's good. I like that. I'm looking much better. Oh, okay, my mouse died. Oh, you were talking about confirm button. Yeah, that's right. During that whole that whole debacle, right? All right, so we're going with that. Now we need to move this whole thing down and we're gonna make it smaller as well. So let's just try with each piece. Technically, we probably could keep this the way it is. Actually, I kind of like that size on there, right? don't think this is centered. Yeah, it's definitely not centered. It's at two. We'll try like 
Happy to see how the back end of Discord seems to be uh, with all the recent changes and fixes. Back end of Discord. I'm gonna, I think I stretched enough now. Let's get back down. Back's kind of hurting. Oh, I should probably just stretch. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, stretch time. Stretch time. Get out of here. I'm sitting down. Move. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want, do for do? What do you want, do for do? What do you want? What do you want, do for do? What do you want? Get down. Mm. All right. Uh, we had a little bit of stretch. Now we're going to sit down and try to finish this up. Size wise, these teeth aren't going to match up, but it's going to be just the way it is, okay? Don't hate me for it, all right? Please. Because it's technically the same year, it's downsized. <sighs> all right. this thing we definitely want to make this smaller let's try 1.5 1.5 so the only thing about making it smaller is it definitely still needs to be large enough or long enough that it all right it still possibly will be okay We can't have that gear. Maybe I should make that gear smaller. Um, oh, okay. Shana dropped a uh, little stuff today. Yeah, yeah. There's always stuff going on. Yeah. There's always shit going on, right? Everyone's always working on stuff. It, everyone's always really busy. Always good to see, for sure. Can I make this longer? That's going to be blue. Let's put that back to two. Maybe 
maybe it doesn't need to be two, maybe like 1.7. That's a good size right there, right? Yeah, gives us a little bit of room to make this look like it's connected to the the wall, right? This needs raised up just a tad so they match. Gotta have precision in our gears, right? What channels changed? I have you asking I have no idea, man. If you want to know, you should go check out Discord and check out announcements channels or uh, most likely uh, some uh, channels over in the dev vlog server, server logs. I know a lot of, a lot of people, we, everyone works on stuff all the time. And uh, we have uh, amazing staff that works on that stuff all the time and not everything gets rammed by me, right? We have everyone doing all kinds of different projects, so yeah, I'm not quite exactly sure. Uh, oh, is it? I didn't even know that. It's called development logs now. Nice. It's probably a good thing, because the it didn't really ever have any like announcement stuff in it, right? Oh, you have both now? Awesome. That's a good idea. So instead of announcements, we have like dev logs and admin logs so they can kind of see the small little changes. Awesome. Pony, that's fantastic. Good good idea. Good idea. That way that way we can use the announcements channel for like big stuff, right? And then there's all these little little stuff in there. Fantastic. See, love to see it. Everyone's always got some fantastic ideas. All right, we're gonna move this box now. Patty's idea? That's awesome. I like it. See, that's why it's great to have a, such a great team we do with lots of different good ideas from everybody, right? Everybody working together for the common good. Is Patty Danish for to be Scottish or is he messing with me? I have no fucking clue. I don't, I, he, pretty, I'm pretty sure he's Scottish. I don't know. He's a, he's a Danish Scottish. I don't know. Is that a thing? a little big now still yeah that looks like a better size probably just this little box here just a happy little box just a happy little box hanging out yeah just a happy little box can I pull this out of here a little bit now just a happy little box. Shit, it's got like a fucking brand on it, right? I mean, maybe it'll maybe it'll come to a point where you find out that this whole thing is like some weird government experiment. 
right? <laughs> All right. Um, now we got to work on this. And this isn't quite. Let's reset this scale on this thing. So that's our normal scale. Let's bump it up to three, three, three. Okay, I think we're gonna give it a little bit of a, yeah, we definitely I think we need to. Let's keep that at three, I think. And do like five and five. Yeah, I think that is gonna look a little better. To actually make an end, an end cap, right? We'll work on the coloration of that as well. It's not quite what we want. But I think keeping a little bit more thickness to it, make it like an actual end cap. All right. I think the top of that's looking good. Um, we'll go work on the bottom. Now the bottom is definitely not even close to fully done but it is what it is for now at least so we're going to stick this in here we only want it like that much Get that centered in there now this we want way thinner. Actually, I can't even make it as thin as I want because there we go. Just a piece of metal, right? Just a piece of metal. this we need to move all the way up here and I don't know why I can't oh, maybe I need to like move it with this button so also this you want to go 0 0.05 is that what I made the other one yeah want this to be the same like that's where it's going to be against the wall so just like that probably all right so down she goes and I can't yeah yeah it sucks I can't move down with this Maybe there's a way to do it. Nope. Alt. Alt. Nope. Shift is usually what does it. I think shift just speeds it up in the other world there. Probably should go something like that. So it's got a little bit of a brack. Brack in. Why is this? Is this not centered? It is centered. It just looked. Doesn't look like it's in there. Okay, so we gotta shrink this down. That's too much. All right, we need red needs to go up 0 0.5. there does that have enough overhang no we need to go like five five I mean technically it's okay if that hangs over a little bit because that's gonna be in a wall I kind of like that all right Let's compile that, hit save, go back to the game map, and uh, that's our finished product right there. 
So now we should be able to grab this and kind of like bring it down and like in here, like, like so. And it will look like it's like bolted to this fucking pillar, right? Go out just a little bit. Actually, I may need to make change that just a little bit so it's yeah. We're gonna have some some grindage. Gonna have some grindage there. But man, that looks fucking so good. No worries, John. And pony. Did you find out if objects have a snap-in property to stick them together easily? There is a way to snap. I'm not very good at it. I've kind of learned a little bit. Um, you can snap to vertices and stuff. I was doing some of my tutorial on it, um, but I haven't really played with it too much yet. So we will use it, though, to fine-tune the walls and all this stuff here soon. But that looks really freaking good. I do not know why I can't. Let's see if I can like highlight this and add a thing and add this door. And it says none. See, it like I don't know what the fuck is wrong, dude. It's like so broken. weird oh yeah 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 the gargoyle we put the gargoyle in there he's spitting lasers right right gargoyles spitting lasers I really like this though it looks fucking good as shit that's dope. I just don't know why I can't pick it and make it move right now. Let's go uh, mess with the other ones we know are working so we can see how they work as far as like placement and stuff. So this is going to get pulled out a little bit. It'll be like right there. Uh, same thing with that one. out a little bit and be like right there now this one I have like shrunk down I think yeah this one is kind of shrunk down oh weird it like everything shrunk but that I must have that that's right I think I have that locked don't I let's go to spin door I think I still have that locked oh shit I need to put this back in here now um, this gear needs to be part of the cylinder. Um, that needs to be part of the cylinder. That one's not going to be moving yet. Maybe in the future. Compile that and then click on cube. Cylinder is locked. No, it's all compile game map. I'm not sure why that's like that. It's weird. Yeah, see? That's weird. DOS is weird, and now it's all fucked up. Huh. Well, it's all layering. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, we got to fix that as well. Let's go ahead and hit play. So we have our buttons now. Yep. 
and should be moving that up there. You got the gears moving up there. Oh my god, dude, it looks so fucking good, right? Jeez, dude, that looks so good. Now we're gonna have to have a cable that runs up to the top up there that controls that. That this button controls, right? That's what the cables are gonna be for. I don't have the cables running right now because I kind of deleted them when I was moving stuff around. But yeah, see, we can go grab this block right here dunk, and turn around. And we kind of want this to shoot like right there. Now I'm gonna have to work on a, some stuff because uh, right now the reflective part is on. Um, that as well like this section as well we don't want that to reflect so I know there's a way to fix that I'm gonna have to like go mess around with some of the I oh mean something's got a really weird collision Jeez, that's weird and see now we're missing shit now we're missing it I need to lower it I have to go through all my freaking stuff. This needs lowered. Which means all this stuff's probably gonna need lowered as well. Like this for sure. It's gonna need lowered. Maybe even moved over a little bit so it's not like right on the fucking edge of this pillar, right? Yeah, I'll have to work on that a little bit as well. Everything's going to need new placements, you know, and adjustments. Uh, I'm going to grab this block and uh, duplicate it real quick. And put it on top of this button so it just automatically activates. Alright, so we activate that, that button should activate and the door should swing. Okay, so I just want to see if if I can get this to activate now. I think I'd be way back here. Yeah, where's that bouncing at? Oh see, this has got some weird ass collisions or something weird, dude. Shit. I think I know what the problem is. That we moved everything around. I think I know what the problem is with this stuff. This cube. We made it invisible. Uh, oh, I'm in play mode. Bam, see, it's all fucked up. It's all, this is what's causing the, the reflection. Oh shit. Um, I need to pull this out of, oh no, fuck. I need to, what's in the cube? Uh, this would just be connected to here. There we go, so this cube. This needs to be, that's probably what was causing the mess up with the block as well. The block was kind of like wedged in between that shit. Um, cause I never deleted that cause I guess I could delete that. No, cause that's what I, pretty sure that's what bounces off of causes a reflection so I don't really want to delete it because then I gotta do a bunch of work
always search visible because I always forget where it is. It's right there. All right, and compile, save, game map. All right, so hit play here now. That should rotate. Grab this block, rotate it. that there we go see now it's hitting right off of it just like that shoots across there it actually hit the, hit hits that which actually opens up this door right here which allows you to get this block and if you put this block on this it should control that which then hits the target and we'll run this cable and open the drawbridge that we're going to create. Nice. It definitely is working. I love the freaking, oh my God, it looks so good, dude. Look at that thing. It looks so freaking good, dude. So freaking good. I'm going to take a screenshot real quick. Uh, oh, well, actually, I'm not sure if that works in game mode. Yeah, it looks so good. Looks so different from the beginning. A lot has been done. Hell yeah, man. That's what happens when you get... And I gotta go through... There's still a whole bunch to do, you know? But damn, looks good. I do want to work on this piece down here. All right. I don't really like how smooth that is and how that looks. So I'll work on making that rough and finding some that looks a lot better for that right but other than that damn it looks good damn it looks good I mean technically we probably could find um, that's not what I wanted I want 3d assets uh, industrial um, actually I'm gonna go to home because there's like a junkyard collection What is this? A big old heavy metal stand? There's got to be some kind of metal. Oh, wow. That metal cover actually is what we want for the fucking front of that thing, right? <laughs> that metal cover is what we want for the front, huh? I was looking to see if there's like a U-joint. <laughs> there's some rack and pinion stuff. Should we put a muffler on top of it? Like a smokestack? <laughs> there's a fucking rusty drive shaft. Could make this thing all fucking gas powered. <laughs> Did we look through all this stuff and couldn't find nothing? Yeah, that cap is definitely not or sheet metal right rusty metal plate oh shit that's a really good that rusty metal plate this is a texture for a rusty metal plate try this real quick did you turn off the lights to see how does it look with low light I have not and uh, I can do that in a second still think this needs to be 
this is way too wide as well. It needs to be like that. It's just a piece of, you know, angle iron, right? It's like 618 where I am at, so I don't know what time it is there, but oh yeah, it's uh, it's 415. Thank you, Sean. Uh, class today is at 6. Um, probably going to get off in like 15 minutes or so, though, so I can chill for a little bit and make something for, to eat and stuff. Might even lower this down a little bit like that, just so it's like, kind of looks like it's securely solid. But uh, let's find its material. And this is going to be in our mega scan asset stuff for surfaces. Um, hmm. Did that download? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't add it. I downloaded it. There we go. It's called MI Rusted Metal Plate. Where does that save at? Huh. Oh, it's in decals. It saves it in a decal. It's weird. I do see it uh, it has a weirdly invisible top right if I go underneath it is it invisible underneath yeah see it's right there hmm weird it's a decal though. I don't think that's supposed to be right. It does say decal. I don't think decals are gonna work on, that's not a texture. That's not a texture. Didn't we find rust, rusty metal sheet, pan covered. Yeah, we need to get like one of these. Rusty boat haul. Rusty black metal sheet. Technically, sheet metal. Why don't it look at pretty corroded? Let's try that. That's why I downloaded a decal, because it was a decal. Got to drive home? Yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. This one called Rusty. Yeah, Rusty Painted Sheet Metal. I mean, that's pretty close to what we were looking for. It's a little bit light, but for for the time being, I think that's good. Believe me, we're going to spend like the whole last month just super fine-tuning everything in the game, right? think for right now for our first initial little rough draft oh yeah see that looks pretty fucking good looks way better right I may even add some fucking bolts to it or something so it looks like it's bolted to the fucking wall you know what I mean so it looks like it's there 
I don't know. But damn. Damn, that looks so good, dude. Damn, boys. Look at that. I am ecstatic on how well looks good. All right, let's check it out. Um, I can't change the light. Why? Here's the fog, right? Here's the light with the fog. Doesn't look too bad. This one's going to be a little different with lights, though. Lighting will give it. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of lighting. I think. Yeah, it'll be. It'll look good. Damn, it looks so good. I'm loving it. It's look. It's coming together, man. This whole area right here is freaking getting pretty dope. I mean, we gotta do a bunch of work to the ground. I want to use a different ground. Maybe even add some like pathy areas to different things, and then put a whole bunch of vegetation. Right. There's all kinds of stuff to do still, even in this area. Um, the gates. Yeah, the gates are fucking like. So key, right? It looks so good. Um, so I I took away this wall or this 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 was a a a door as well. Um, I'm probably gonna put a large gate there, but then put a whole bunch of rubble around it, like you like pried it open and climbed up through it, but you can't get back through it, right? So we'll have to like build up a little scene out here, so you can like look out and see like a little forest and whatnot, right? But I think that's what I'm gonna do right here. Because you're going to start in here. And if you look back that way, it'll look like you climbed through an open gate that was all with rubble and stuff, right? I think that's what I'm going to do for that area. So it kind of ties that in. So it's, it's, so you're not like this in this closed arena. I think that's what we're going to do for that. Looks fantastic, though. It's looking so good. Looking so good. Um, we'll be back on tomorrow if you guys want to come back and check out some stuff uh, we'll probably work on that like I, what I talked about now a little bit um, I really want to get this I really want to get the tutorial level flushed out um, to be like maybe not final final but pretty close that way we can like you know start getting some screenshots of a few different things of the laser system um, and things like that, right? So we'll work on that again tomorrow. We'll be back on here again. Again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, dev streams. Um, Friday, Friday night, uh, Friday night fiddle pot streams. And then Sunday, we'll be playing lots of games. This Sunday, we're going to be playing some racing games, maybe even some Far Cry. I want to start a Far Cry 5 playthrough. Um, so that'll be our Sunday stream. So make sure you guys are checking out that. Be a lot of fun for sure. I hope to see you guys there. You guys are awesome. Let's see. Do we have anybody streaming over on Twitch right now? Uh, oh, Crimson's streaming right now. Did he? He's probably doing a Fallout stream because he's a big Fallout guy. Let's make sure he's actually on. Yeah. All right. If you're on Twitch right now, hang out for a few. We will uh, jump on and raid uh, good old CP. See what he's doing the Fallout stuff. Uh, but I imagine he's watching the show later on. Fallout show does come on tonight if you have Amazon. Uh, it does uh, release in an hour and a half. You guys are awesome. See you again tomorrow. Thanks for being a uh, part of the amazing process. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later. <laughs>